أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والفجر وليد عشر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Today our lesson is about Arabic alphabetic letter I, they are called in Arabic حروف تحجي what are they the, how many they are and uh, from where we have to pronounce them what is their role in Arabic language so the whole things we will discuss today so first of all what is the objective of this uh, this sketch I draw the, the word so basically we have to pronounce the Arabic letters from their origin place that is called Makhraj Makhraj basically is called origin place Makhraj Makhraj from where we have to pronounce letters it is called makharaj makharaj means the place from where we have to pronounce a letter that is called makharaj for example ba ba is pronounced when we join our lips this like ba ba so this is its makharaj because this is the place from where we have to pronounce this ba like joining uh, the lips ba that is its makharaj so second question how many they are arabic letters how many basically they are 28 total 28 Arabic letter but when we count them they are 30 so what is the reason its reason is this that uh, Alif and Hamza this ya and this ya their voice is same like a uh, Hamza voice and Alif voice is it they have uh, same voice a uh, like a uh. same similarly that is in the case of ya this some people say uh, small ya and this is called big ya but uh, this is dedicated this is by their movements so movement decide either this is small ya or big ya so basically their uh, shape is different but uh, they are same like a two dot when a letter has two dot downside that is called ya so ya has uh, same voice there is no different so this is the call that uh, some people uh, count Arabic letters 30 some people 22 so, uh, so sorry 28 so the real thing is this that they are 28 harufi tahaji are alphabetic of Arabic language 28 so similarly there our throat has been divided into three parts first is upper throat then mid throat then bottom throat so we from different throats from different parts of throat different letters will be pronounced and they are called they are makharaj so inshallah let us start we will discuss about them so first is of all this is alif a uh, like a uh. we will pronounce it alif from while opening our mouth a uh, like a uh, alif so like this it's makharaj's opening mouth a uh. second one is ba ba has one dot downside it is its recognition that it has one dot downside so it has one dot downside 
and what is its makhraj basically this makhraj is this uh, and when we will uh, join our lips like ba that is called ba ba so ba like b in english second one is ta ta is like t a ta its place of pronunciation is this ta like uh, uh, the, uh, something like f uh, f our tongue front corner of our tongue will touch to the upper side upper uh, roots of front upper teeth that is called ta ta will be pronounced from here like ta this tongue will touch to upside ta ta so its recognition is this that it has two dot upside and third one is sa sa basically its a makhraj and pronunciation of place of pronunciation is like this and when the tongue will be between the two jaw between the two teeth like sa sa very softly sa sa this will be pronounced and its recognition is this it has three dot upside so how can we recognize different letters have different shapes so for example this one is one dot this has two dot and this has three dot what how can we we will judge them so we will call them by their we will recognize them by their letters like this has three dot upside this will be called sa this has two dot upside this will be called ta and this has one dot downside this will be called ba so we will recognize them by their letters ba ta and sa third four, uh, fifth one letter is about jim uh, jim basically like j in english jim we will pronounce it longer jim like jim so its place of makhraj place of pronunciation is this like the mid part of our tongue will touch to the upper part jim upper flat of mouth jim like jim this is the tongue and tongue is touching to upside in flat condition jim this will be jim will be pronounced here and its recognition is this that it has downside one dot so next one is ha ha is empty from any dot and this is called ha basically ha is included in throat letter like this this is mid of throat ha we will enclose our throat while pronouncing ha 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 very very light and soft letter while from mid of throat ha ha then is ha ha has one dot and ha is empty from any dot ha has one dot and it, its dot is upside so ha is also from throat letter this is upper throat letter like this so upper throat letter mean uh, the the roots of tongue will touch to upper side ha then ha it has it is it sound is special ha like ha so this is ha then is dal 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 is empty from any dot so its place of pronunciation like this dal like ta we pronounce ta here ta and dal their makhraj is same so dal like uh, the front uh, corner of teeth of uh, tongue will touch to the upside something like uh, roots of front upper teeth this will touch like this one to the upside so this will be dal 
dal then is dal dal has one dot upside and dal is like sa so it's makhraj uh, place of pronunciation is same like when the tongue will be between the two jaws like dal dal very very softly dal it will be it will be pronounced then dal dal so it has one dot upside then is ra so ra its pronunciation is this like uh, the corner of tongue will touch to uh, the upper flat condition this will be then it will be pronounced ra ra so this corner of tongue will touch to the upside ra this will be pronounced ra so ra has basically three condition almost in two condition it becomes bold like ra when has zabar or pesh this will be bold ra ra when it has downside zair it will be light like ra ra so it has three condition second one is za za has one dot upside so this will be also its place of makhraj is like seen so uh, when the tongue will touch to the upper side teeth root so then this za will be pronounced pronounced this will be hard and sticky za like za za uh, the tongue will touching to upper side teeth teeth root like za so like this one here and there are teeth teeth this is touching to the teeth root this is za and this is sticky and hard and this has one dot upside then is seen seen is also like za its place of makhraj is same so the front corner of teeth uh, of tongue will touch to upside root teeth this will be seen seen is also sticky and hard seen seen it's it is empty from any dot then is sheen sheen it has three dot sheen like s h double e n sheen sheen and its place of pronunciation like this mid part of tongue will touch to the upside of mouth then this will be in flat condition this will be called sheen 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 then is sod 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 this is its place of makhraj like uh, place of pronunciation is like this sod sod like seen and za so front corner of t of tongue will touch to upside roots t upside roots upside teeth's root this will be sod but the difference between seen and sod is this this will be bold and this will be light seen and this will be bold sod 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 so while pronunciation them we will not uh, we will not bring our mouth in uh, in circle like sod some people say sod that will be wrong just we will bring our mouth in circle when we will pronounce wow 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 in other place this sod simple like sod sod then is dot so its place of mouth pronunciation place of uh, its makhraj is like this left corner of our tongue will touch to upside roots like this like this the left side of tongue will touch to the upside root this will be pronounced lod lod it's it has special sound lod 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 so this will be pronounced while the recognition of these letter we will judge according to their uh, letters according to their dots
like this. For example, if we have uh, this one, then this one, then this one. So how will we will judge them? This this will be jim. This will be ha because it has one dot upside. This will be ha because it is empty from any dot. So we will recognize different letters from their place of pronunciation and from their uh, dots. We teach online Quran and other Islamic courses free of cost to the poor and deserving people who cannot afford a fee. So if you want to join these classes online, please visit our website fajr.com. Fajr